Welcome, my name is Just Pete, and today guys, I'm going to give you my best advice on how to win more Fortnite games in solos, duo, squad, doesn't matter what it is, just how to win more games in general. So here we go. So first thing I would say is, this, is, this isn't the most important thing, but it's, it's definitely up there on the list, always be aware of where the storm is, whether it's early game storm or the absolute end game when the storm is like a tiny dot, okay? You have to know where the storm is at all times on that mini-map, because it, it'll judge how you rotate out of wherever you land. You want to be in that storm. You don't want to take damage from the storm ever. You don't want the storm to be the thing that kills you, because that's, I mean, that's just no fun, first of all, dying from the storm. And also, it's a pain to just run through the storm and always be at constantly low health, and then get into a fight with, like, no health, you know what I mean? You guys have been there when you're running from the storm the whole time, so just be conscious of like where you land, try to land in more central places maybe, but just know where the storm is and try to get into the center of the storm Like after you land. Just try to get to the center of the storm. Another huge tip I would give is make sure you have good weapons. You're not going to win with trash weapons. So I mean, you can land somewhere with bad weapons and kill someone with good weapons, but you got to get good weapons somehow. However you want to do it, whether you land at a high profile place like Salty or Tilted or Retail or whatever it is, you don't need legendary weapons, but you at least need comparable weapons. I would suggest to always have a shotgun, whether it be a pump or attack or a heavy. Um, pump, double pump works good. Heavy plus tack, pump plus tack, whatever you want to do. Always have a shotgun, though. Always have an AR. And then, I mean, explosives really help. You don't need them, though, but you at least need comparable weapons. Like, good luck winning a game with a white SMG and a couple of grenades. Okay, that's just, that's just basically never going to happen. And make sure you always have heals in the inventory, too, guys. He, health is so important, okay? You're going to get weak after like almost every fight, so whether it be minis or bandages or a med kit, whatever heals you find, keep them in your inventory. Make one slot for heals, at least one. Minis is probably the best one to have, because you can always get 25 more shield, and you can always get at least have 50 shield, which is really important, and if they don't bring you down past 50 shield and hit your health, then you'll still be good. You'll still be able to get back up to 50 shield and have 100 health. But bandages are also good to get to 75 at all times. And if you have a med kit, you know, you can get to back to 100. I mean, chug jugs are good. Obviously, they get to you to full. But those just take a while to use. That's why I prefer minis the most because they take, like, no time to use. And they still give you that 25 shield benefit. So make sure you have health. Make sure you have guns. Beware the storm. Next tip, always have mats, guys. You need materials to live. You need them. You absolutely need them. It is crucial, crucial, crucial to have mats, guys. If you don't have mats, you're just, you're dead. You're dead. That's what it is. You get into a fight and you're like, oh, I don't have any mats. Oh, and I'm dead. That's literally how everything goes. If I don't, if I don't have mats, I basically just accept death. Because you're not gonna be able to build a wall for Pete's sake. Like even if you can't build well, you should at least be able to build a wall to protect yourself from fire from you know an AR across the map or a sniper. And then you're not gonna be able to build a stair to ramp push anyone. And you're just gonna be a sitting duck. If they get above you, you can't do anything. You can't build up to them. They're just gonna sit in that one by one above you and just pop shot down upon you until you die and it's just game over it's game over if you don't have mats guys so collect mats have like 600 at all times i would recommend wood because it is a very good resource excuse me a little bit right there but wood's a very good resource since it builds so quickly even though it's not as strong as the other two but in the beginning it'll be stronger than both of them since it builds quicker and in build fights you want to you want to build real quickly and not, not, not let them be able to kind of just break it down like immediately and you fall like a bajillion feet when you're ramp pushing them. So I would recommend doing woods and that's easy to farm, just farm trees, guys. I mean, it's pretty simple, to be honest with you. So always have mats. That's another huge, huge tip I would give you. And then another big tip in the end game, man, high ground is so important. And, and whatever, like always try to be at, at, at a high ground. Always try to be at an advantageous position of your opponent because if you're below your opponent I mean this clip right here is going to show that the high ground doesn't always matter if your opponent's terrible okay I run out of mats here which is also bad by the way I mean, you, you guys are watching I run out of mats and I just like I'm, I'm dead look at this I have like no mats he's got a minigun I start to do on oh, I'm out of mats I should be dead right here I don't know he, he's just this dude's lost I gotta be honest with you because he has high ground and then I just destroy him with an AR and kill him but this should never happen like that guy is doing a lot better in this situation than me. He just does not know how to play the game. That's the only reason I can explain how I killed him right there. Okay. But especially in the end, though, when there's, like, a huge mountain, get on top of that mountain. I, like, I feel like you guys are probably dying for people. On, like, I always am so annoyed when someone's on a mountain before me. That's why it's important to know where the storm goes, because you need to know where the, the highest point of the storm is. Get there in the end game, because then you'll have a great chance of winning, honestly. 
you really will. You really will have a great chance of winning because you'll just be above everyone, and they'll, it'll take a ton of mats to build up to you, number one. And they might be, like, out by the time they get to you, and then they're just going to have to build even higher to get to your, like, stacked one by one. So always get high ground, guys. It's super important. Even in build fights, that should always be your strategy. Get the high ground. It's so, so, so astronomically important to have high ground, especially get it in huge mountains and stuff, too. That helps a ton, a ton, a ton. Honestly, high ground is so important, guys. And then last thing I say is just just play smart, you know? You don't got to get all the kills. You just got to get the ones that matter. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope these tips will help you to win more games of Fortnite, whether it be squad, souls, duos. Thanks for watching, guys. Please share, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you later.